Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 9th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a quick space weather update, as we have something to show you here. Some pretty large CMEs taking off from the sun. Northern Hemisphere showing a large prominence, and as well, lots of plasma activity across the surface of the sun the last few days. As noted here with daily events worldwide, have a look at these CMEs. But the most recent one is most peculiar as it heads straight north. Huge plasma prominence lifting from the surface of the north pole of our sun. Huge coronal mass ejection. So that was Lasco 3 and having a look here at Lasco 2 showing the same last 48 hours of events. This was early this morning and then the most recent one taking off from the Northern Hemisphere at the same time as an equatorial CME is in progress. Look at the last few images. We'll slow them down and get a closer look here at this amazing imagery brought to you by, of course, NASA and SOHO and all the satellites tracking our sun. Check these out. Much love, everybody, and thank you for subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. Stay tuned. Tomorrow we will have another Daily Do update on everything space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. This is just a space weather update. Not much has changed with everything else. Having a closer look here, 304 angstroms at all of the last 48 hours of events. You can see the plasma spinning around the north pole of the sun here. Solar Cycle 25 definitely putting on a show. Sunspot numbers, large solar flares, massive prominence on the sun, and as well, plasma shots here. Look at this interaction between two sunspot regions. You can see plasma shooting from one end of the sun to the other. Look at that. Just jumped right from one sun sunspot to another one. Amazing images here with Solar Dynamics Observatory. Clipped and shared here with daily events worldwide. Another closer look at that plasma prominence lifting from the surface of the North Pole. Amazing stuff. Grateful to have you all along for this ride. Grateful for all of the intelligent people who have gotten us this far to be able to see what we can. And much love to everybody watching. Thank you. And please don't forget to smack that like button. Have another look here at multi-spectrum the last 48 hours. Large coronal hole developing and plasma filaments stretching across the northern hemisphere right now. A long one in the northern hemisphere still hanging around and another one kind of connected to the north part of this large coronal hole that is turning in. You can see the blackened region there. That is the coronal hole, Earth facing as we speak. And that is set to increase our solar winds and geomagnetic activity over the next couple of days. So heads up, stay aware and prepared, everybody. Having a look here, 171 angstroms. See the full effect of our sun and its helosphere and about six to ranging six to eight sunspot regions out of the already i believe we're at 170 to 180 sunspots for the beginning of this cycle a little black and white imagery here showing that coronal hole turning in for an earth-facing event Much love and prayers going out to humanity worldwide. We're seeing a lot unfold over these last few days. Many thoughts and prayers to everybody affected in the Afghanistan earthquake as well. As reported here yesterday, well, it turns out there were many lives lost in that event. So thoughts and prayers affected worldwide for all the devastation that is occurring. And you know what I'm talking about. 
We're on the verge. We are here. Hang on, folks. This is going to be a wild ride. Leave you here looking at our solar X-ray flux. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Much love, everybody. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.